Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This is the scene from a few days ago, the Poas volcano in Costa Rica. And you can see there was an eruption. It was the biggest eruption in a few years. Again, not seeing a giant eruption. I want you to know I'm monitoring this, though. Uh, they do have higher alert levels for this. I'll get into that in a second. So here's Costa Rica. And again, you're just off toward uh, the northwest of uh, San Jose. So a highly populated area uh, back through here. And again, the, the volcano itself is in a national park. There's a lot of volcanoes through here uh, and uh, the national park itself had to kind of shut down the area around this volcano which does make sense the crater in this it's one of the biggest craters uh, in a volcano that we have around the world a very unique volcano big tourist attraction a lot of people come up and see it usually the eruptions aren't too crazy big uh, it does have the possibility of bigger ones but at this point we had that eruption a couple days ago it did put a lot of ash up there did throw a little bit of rock so they did go from a green to a yellow yellow which is more of that warning phase so they're monitoring this uh, closely so again this in Costa Rica know I'm on top of that for you let me shift gears here we go from the ground up into uh, the air uh, total eclipse I want to get into the forecast for this this is the big eclipse you may have been hearing about there's no real impact to the weather on this now where the uh, the eclipse happens the total part of it where it does get darker there is a temperature drop off temperature will drop off a little bit with that of course if it gets darker, it does drop off early afternoon on Monday, uh, early to mid afternoon. That's when this is going to happen. I want to get into the locations and what it means and then show you that forecast in a moment. So here's the sun and eclipse. This one, a solar eclipse. So we're going to see uh, the moon getting in between and it casts that shadow. Uh, there's that darker shadow, which gives us the, uh, the full eclipse for some of us. And here it is. Here's the broad picture. And then I'll zoom down to the percentages of how, uh, how much of an eclipse we're going to get but a total eclipse total solar eclipse Mexico moving into the middle of the United States back through Texas up toward the Atlantic region of Canada of course the hope is the weather does cooperate now as far as it's concerned in the Caribbean let me start south then work its way up to the north uh, Trinidad and Tobago over toward uh, Barbados St. Lucia uh, no eclipse no even a really effective an eclipse you get toward Dominica north northeastern Caribbean about a 10 percent eclipse early uh, afternoon on our Monday. May not even notice it at all. Then you get back toward uh, the DR and Haiti. So Puerto Rico, back toward the Dominican Republic and Haiti, closer to Jamaica, about a 20% chance or a 20% eclipse. So you have these uh, partial eclipse uh, areas and that's what we have here. 30% eclipse as we get back toward Jamaica. 40% coverage in the Bahamas, parts of Cuba. 50% chance South Florida. And then as you stretch back toward Belize, much of the Yucatan of Mexico. And then a 60% uh, eclipse, 60% coverage as we work our way into uh, Central and then even more so up toward North Florida. I'll tie this into the weather in just a second. Right here, this is the total eclipse through here, right through Texas, uh, back down through Mexico. So we're looking at about a 70% uh, coverage, 70% eclipse throughout much of the Southeast US, 80% in Louisiana, about an 80% uh, coverage as you get back toward the panhandle of Texas into parts of Oklahoma, still a, a full eclipse into South uh, Eastern section of Oklahoma, New Mexico, and extreme northeast, northwestern sections of Mexico, about a 60 to 70 percent uh, uh, coverage. Here is that total that's going to move through parts of Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, moving back toward New York, clipping Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine. Then as you get over toward New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, very close to Nova Scotia, the total will be just to the north. And then uh, Newfoundland, uh, outside of that uh, total area, again, you're looking at 80, 90 percent uh, eclipse clips there. So this is how it ties into the weather. This is a look ahead to Monday early afternoon. The white you're seeing here would be areas of cloud cover. One of the bigger issues will be somewhere near Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Uh, looks like we're going to have a storm system develop, even the potential of some severe weather. So that could be a concern here for some viewing. A couple other spots we're watching up toward a Newfoundland. Hopefully this system stays just away. It's going to be right on the edge trying to split a couple systems. We can see a few clouds trying to creep into parts of uh, Pennsylvania and New York. As far as the uh, Caribbean, especially Eastern Caribbean. Again, not much of an eclipse at all. Now, uh, with that said, some scattered clouds around shouldn't really hamper any viewing back toward the Bahamas and Florida with scattered clouds. Now, if you're in the eclipse area uh, and you can't look up directly at the sun, even if you're getting a decent 
uh, clips. You need to have uh, those uh, kind of viewing glasses or some sort of uh, device like that because again, it's it's still the sun. Even as uh, things move in front of it, that could that could cause some some damage. So uh, we won't get silly uh, with that. But I just wanted to give you the information on that. Few spots with that cloud cover. Pass along the map on that. I'll keep you posted as we go forward. Here's let's shift back to. What's going on right now? Again, a lot of us deal with a lot of sunshine kind of in between systems. Now that big front that rolled through clipped by parts of the Caribbean and the Bahamas a couple days ago, that's near Bermuda now, but that spin with it has really been hanging out. We were talking about that, how nothing would really kick it away. That's up toward parts of Canada and the Northeastern US still spinning around. Uh, many spots though, we are too dry. Jamaica, we've had a few fires in spots, watching the drought conditions uh, for us in Jamaica. That's just kind Kind of uh, one sample. Other areas uh, uh, as well, uh, we're dealing with those uh, drought conditions. Now, this is for today, and then I'll zoom back out. Hit or miss showers around. The rain chance isn't too high. Costa Rica, Panama picking up a little bit, of course, uh, watching that volcano over toward uh, Costa Rica, monitoring that. Uh, as you get toward Belize, Honduras, we could get a couple showers. I was highlighting this earlier, and there is a chance of a passing shower in Jamaica. I hope we get it. Again, not a super high chance, but at least an isolated chance. Into the weekend, the Dominican Republic, even over toward Puerto Rico, the tail end of the front may give us a few showers, may get one or two, Guadalupe, uh, Montserrat. Rain chance is low, but some of us, some of our islands are going to see a few passing uh, showers. There's that extra rain near Costa Rica and Panama. See some more moisture here building over toward uh, the uh, south central areas of the Caribbean. And this is as we work our way into our Sunday. And you see Sunday, a little green here, Puerto Rico, even Haiti and the Dominican Republic, a couple pop-up showers in Belize, still that chance of showers. And you see it here again, the tail end of the front on Monday, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, rain chance will be just a little higher. And then Costa Rica, Panama, even parts of Nicaragua could see a few showers around, but not a lot for us in uh, Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, even Cuba, we're gonna mainly be on the dry side. So this big spin, just sitting out there and it's going to sit uh, kind of just kind of slowly make its way off of the coast. Not in a hurry. Another system rolled into the western portions of the U.S. So taking out time into the uh, weekend. This is as we work our way into Saturday. And you note that that spin is still sitting there. This here again moving into the middle of the country. And I want to take you out into the eclipse time as we work our way forward. Again, this is not showing the cloud cover. This is showing the precipitation, either snow or rain. I showed you that cloud cover map earlier, but Sunday. Here's that system that's going to work through the middle of the U.S. And there's that pesky spin that we need to move away from uh, Newfoundland. So on Monday, we could have some better viewing of this eclipse. So we'll see how far away that moves away. And then you see here, this is what I was talking about. By the time we get into Monday, we're going to see this area uh, that will start to build up with some showers and storms as we get into our Monday afternoon. Parts of the Tennessee Valley back toward Texas, over toward uh, Louisiana and uh, Arkansas that could uh, hamper some of the viewing for that eclipse. Now, this is that spin that we've been seeing near the Northeast US. Uh, some of us, especially uh, de uh, depending on where, uh, if you're in higher terrain or lower terrain, higher terrain getting some snow, snow showers, rain showers mixed in, kind of a, a sloppy uh, system, just still there as we work our way into our Saturday afternoon. Still watching out for some areas of rain, some areas of snow, most of the totals from this point, not super high, and we'll see that again as we get into uh, Sunday. So Jamaica for us, isolated showers and storms, uh, maybe a storm, uh, about a 30% chance. I was showing you a little green on the map. So there's a slight chance of a couple showers around. Cayman Islands could see one or two showers. Rain chance small though, 20%, 10 to 20% chance Trinidad and Tobago watching. Even though we had some rain earlier, watching the drought levels, watching the uh, fire threat. Barbados, 20% chance for tomorrow. Next couple days in St. Lucia, our rain chance is 20%. Grenada, 10 to 20%. And you see these numbers, not very high. St. Vincent of the Grenadines this weekend we're mainly dry. 20% chance of a passing shower isolated Martinique back through Dominica and then even up toward Guadalupe. Rain chance stays minimal. 20% chance the next couple days Antigua and Barbuda. 20% chance St. Kitts, Nevis and Montserrat and a 20% chance Anguilla and St. Bart. Same thing. St. Martin, Saba and Stacia passing shower. Now Puerto Rico, the rain chance is a little higher, not all day activity, but in the afternoon and even evening, we'll see a few showers around in some locations, may get a couple more over toward uh, the U.S. and British for 
Virgin Islands, about a 30% chance for tomorrow. And then you see in the Dominican Republic, as we go through the weekend, the rain chance will tick up a little bit. Sunday, the best chance of a shower and even a 20% chance in Haiti. The Bahamas, though, we are mainly dry, loads of sunshine, and should be pretty good viewing on Monday for the eclipse. Turks and Caicos were mainly dry, uh, mainly dry as we get back toward uh, Cuba. Loads of sunshine across Cuba. Belize, we're going to have some showers around. I mentioned that. Even over toward Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, spotty showers. Let me know what you get throughout the weekend in the comments section. Could have a few in toward the uh, Yucatan, uh, Mexico, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire. The beat goes on. We're still going to be mainly dry. 40% chance of rain though in Bermuda tomorrow. That front that is kind of sweeping by the choppy seas around Bermuda, Costa Rica, and Panama. The rain chance is higher, 40-50% chance this weekend. And the rain chance trending down a bit, Guyana and Suriname isolated showers will be a possibility. We work our way back toward northern Venezuela, about a 20% chance. As we take a look at the outlook going forward again to recap, I'll monitor any of those volcanoes. There's been some active ones this year so far, which is common. I'm keeping an eye on those. Any earthquake activity, partial eclipse, not uh, I put in, I misspelled that. I, was, I guess I was trying to go with practical. Partial eclipse for uh, most of us. Broke that down earlier in the video. A uh, few more showers in Puerto Rico this uh, weekend, but other areas, we've got the uh, drought conditions. We have that in Jamaica. So I'll keep you posted. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for subscribing and sharing this information with your friends and family. Have a good weekend ahead.